My name is Sharon Hood. I'm a fire ecologist and I study fire and forested ecosystems. We tend to think of a forest as a natural place. A fire coming through seems very foreign. I kind of like to see that, oh, the fire killed this tree or didn't kill this tree or burned really hot here, and kind of why that would be. The great thing about trees is they produce a ring of wood every single year. So that allows us to go back potentially hundreds of years and see kind of what this tree was doing back in time. Wow, this breaks it inside the, off the end. There we go. Whoa. I core the trees and then take them back to uh, the lab. Then I prepare the tree core and I can look at resin ducts and measure um, how much a tree grew in a year and how many ducks that um, the tree produced in a given year. I look at how um, trees try to defend themselves against bark beetles because when bark beetles do successfully attack the tree, it ends up killing the trees. My Research has shown that low intensity fires, so these are the type of fires where trees will survive. That type of fire and that frequent low intensity fire actually can stimulate a tree's defense system and to make it produce more resin ducts. And these resin ducts are, have been shown to uh, make trees more resistant to attacks. This is how we measure resin flow. and. We rem I remove a section of the bark, about an inch wide section, and then use some caulk to make a little funnel and attach this test tube to the tree. And then we just come back 24 hours later and see how much resin came out of this area of the tree. So you can see um, maybe the, it kind of pooling up right here. And that uh, resin when, is the main defense from uh, bark beetles. So when the beetles start chewing through that bark, they sever those resin ducts and resin starts to exude out and the resin's really sticky and just acts to physically uh, prevent the beetles from getting into the tree and it's also toxic. The coolest part about what I do, I think, is trying, it's like a puzzle, trying to figure out all these working parts of a forest and building on lots of awesome research from the past, but then trying to find new things and really understand kind of how, uh, how fire fits into a forest and what the role is of fire. Good. That, that there is not all fire is it's good it certainly has but there's certainly times where we it's not feasible to allow a fire to burn but uh, there's also lots of times when fire is good and it's good for nature mm -hmm. 